What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Highly Combustible Reaction. We're going to be cruising in space with Thomas Bergerson. Hey, I'm down 100%. It's coming at us from Maria. Uh, I'm not one that actually wants to go myself to space. Not a chance in hell. You will never catch me on a spacecraft actually leaving the world. That's too much stuff that we don't know about the world itself. But that doesn't mean that I'm not intrigued by, state, by tra space travel. Space exploration, space finding stuff. I just read some document that said something about trying to find water on the moon. That's crazy. Uh, I don't know. If you haven't read about that, you should definitely read it. It's definitely something worth looking into. I mean, if there's water on the moon that we never knew about, that China somehow found. China's been doing a lot of crazy stuff in space, though. I do enjoy space. It is intriguing. I'm just not one that's willing to take that leap and jump up there myself. Uh, but I am all for anything related to space. So let's go cruising in space. Let's see what Thomas Bergerson did with this one. Let's roll. How many chapters does humanity have? I see this is chapter four. Such a cool album art. I don't know, I guess I kind of get a sense of pride as a human being when we discover stuff or when we explore new things or when we figure out new technology. And just the time that I've been alive, technology's surpassed anything that I could have ever expected it would. From the time of floppy disks and things like that to little tiny ass memory things the size of your fingernail, the whole 50 terabytes. Like, what in the hell? We've jumped forward. We've jumped forward in space. We've jumped. We've learned that there's so many different galaxies out there. It's kind of enhanced the way that I think. So, yeah, I definitely have a respect for space. This definitely has a space feel to it. I'm saying when it got big right there, like we burst through the atmosphere. Thomas always know right when to bring in like different amazing see the vocals That guitar, though.
Now I don't know if it's a guitar anymore. Futuristic too. I'm saying Thomas Bergerson, Two Steps from Hell, that whole little like group of people over there. It's just, oh no, they do some. They take normal symphonic music where you can hear the normal instruments in there, like we would hear violins, cellos, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And then they turn it, they add so much more. They add a whole bunch of different things. Layers of focus. Layers of this. Layers of sound effects. Layers of synth sometimes. Like, it's just so much more added than what normal instruments can do, I guess. Maybe in a way. It's the way I see it in my brain. It's just more than music. Like feelings put into sound. Crazy that it's so hard right there, but it still gives you this like sense of of looking, the sense of hope, almost like like we found something new. I don't know, I don't know how to quite to explain it. But if it was done in just a slightly lower tone, it would have been crazy. It would have been chaotic. It would have been a whole different feeling. I like how they're able to just take these certain feelings that they want you to have and plant them like little seeds, and then they grow throughout the song. Really play with your eardrums. I like it. Nice. 
birds in my ear. Damn it, if that wasn't a test. I'm saying they know exactly what they're doing. They know exactly what seeds to plant in your body, in your ear, to make your body react a certain way, to make your emotions react a certain way. It's music that makes you feel whether you want to feel it or not. I don't know. Hypnotizing, beautiful. Gives you like a sense, I don't know, a sense of hope, a sense of exploration and adventure. Definitely a song on the top list. Super long, but super worth it. I miss long songs. I'm super, I'm sad a lot of people have cut songs down to like 2 minutes and 15 seconds. That's ridiculous. Like, there used to be these epic ballads. This is definitely one of those. If you guys enjoyed it, go show Thomas Burger send some love. Go show Two Steps From Hell some love on their channel. You already know we love them. You should do the same. It's downside the description. Hit that like button if you liked it, the dislike button if you dislike it. Check out the other video up there. One of these guys up here. Until the next one, I'm highly combustible. You guys be happy, healthy, safe. I love you to the moon and back. Peace.